Welcome everyone to our new WFA series where we are going to look at the offseason so far of some of our WFA teams. The first team that we'll be looking at today is the champions, the Montreal Berserkers. Of course, it's the Berserkers. We always have to talk about them. And they had one of the more, um, one of the off seasons that was very, as always, they always have a lot of roster turnover. Uh, I'll be looking at some of the key additions, key departures, and possibly some of their draft targets uh, moving forward into the draft season, because that is coming up a lot sooner than people might have imagined at this point in the season. So uh, here we go. We're going to look at some of the key additions and key departures for Montreal. Firstly, here are your key departures for Montreal. So you have your quarterback, Colin Pierce, your two top tight ends, Ricky Rivera and Keanu Aikaika, your starting right tackle, Bob Brothers, Bubba Dacious at defensive tackle, Kingston Maxfield at linebacker, Max Shoot at cornerback, Derek Jenko as your third safety slash, I think he played a little bit of slot corner this last season, and uh, Ty Newsom at safety as well. Strong safety, uh, I believe was his natural position there. Um, this, these are a lot, as you can see, a lot of these players are silver and above, I believe all of them are. Um, so that they're gonna, they had a lot of spots to fill. As always, the Montreal Berserkers find a way to replace these talents, but for now, we can look at these guys. Um, Colin Pierce, who uh, did regress from gold to silver during the offseason, so um, head coach Colin wanted to move on, find a better option, which we'll be talking about in a little bit. Um, Aikaika and Ricky Rivera didn't do a ton to um, really secure they're standing on the team, so they get moved on from. Um, they combined for a total of um, a total of around 450 yards. Uh, Keanu Aikaika didn't get a lot of play time after he got traded for from Lincoln, so um, that's why he got released. Ricky Rivera had a pretty solid season for a tight end, but uh, Montreal looking to have a little bit more out of that guy. Uh, and then the defense, Derek Jenko, of course, uh, got his own team, so that's why that player got moved. Um, it's a good bargaining chip. Bubba Dacious had nine sacks, which will be hard to replace for sure. Uh, Kingston Maxfield, almost 70 tackles. Second on, uh, third on the team, in ta well, second on the team in tackles. Jeffrey Chin and Ty Newsom both had more, but they were flipping between two different teams. Uh, Ty Newsom had a good season as well. So there's a lot of stuff that uh, had to be replaced. Um, Max shoots 14 pass deflections um, and four interceptions was second on the team. Well, not second on the team, what am I talking about? Um, but he, he was a very important part of their defense alongside Todd Taylor. Um, so those are the key departures. There's a lot of things to replace. Um, but now we're going to look at what they've replaced so far and what they still have to look forward to. So one of the key additions that they bring in is Kazuyu Wakamatsu. He's coming over from uh, Des Moines. He gave uh, that team 12 sacks. So that replaces the Babadacious. I believe that Wakamatsu will be playing uh, defensive tackle for the team. Um, then you go over to Memphis where you get uh, DeAndre Williams. He had four interceptions, so that'll replace uh, Max Schutz availability. Prince Washington was uh, playing safety for Lincoln this past season. He'll be playing corner um, for Montreal, which I'm kind of mad about, but you know, things happen. Uh, Prince Washington had six interceptions at safety, 64 tackles as well, so this is nobody to sneeze at. And then, of course, you have uh, one of the best defensive performers that we've ever seen in the league, and of course he somehow ends up in Montreal, 53 tackles, 15 interceptions from free safety Jack Bridges. He's coming over from Kansas City, now Myrtle Beach, um, and he will replace Ty Newsom's role uh, in Montreal. So him and Jeffrey Chin are going to become an amazing one-two punch. Um, but there are still a couple of things that Montreal does need to shore up. Most importantly, the quarterback position. I'll look at some of the draft prospects that they could replace uh, with, but the offseason is still going, so there could be some trades in the works. So these are some of the prospects that I think that Montreal could be targeting um, based on the positions of need that they have still to fill. 
Montreal does not have a starting quarterback unless they're going with Copper Mick Simpson. So I have uh, given them an early mock of uh, the best quarterback in the draft currently, which is Terrence Hudnall. Um, so far in three games, he has five touchdowns, uh, only one interception, almost 800 yards passing. Um, he's far and away the best as far as QBR. Um, so he's probably going to be number one and number one on Montreal's board. Then you go to Jax Powers, who uh, we know that they love Dax Lewis. So Jax Powers could be a guy that they go after. Um, in his three games, he has nine catches, 105 yards, which is near the top of the tight end board. And then for a defensive player, they're still looking to replace Kingston Maxfield. I assume that this guy will be drafted as a silver linebacker. Um, and the guy that I have uh, mocked them right now is Trevor Rivers from Tucson. 22 tackles in just three games. That makes him the second leading tackler um, in the Rise League so far. And I think that he would be a good fit for Montreal. So those are three draft prospects I think that they could go get. Um, they could also make a bunch of trades and as they always do and find a way to build uh, to build on the continued great roster that they already have. Um, I'm expecting big things from Montreal. Um, I expect this team to be in competition for championship again, assuming that their quarterback is something that fits what they want to do. Um, so that's it for me today. Uh, check out the Rise League as it gets to its conclusion um, and get ready for the draft because it's going to be really fun. Uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what other teams you want me to go into uh, as the season progresses. Thank you very much. Goodbye.